Hello everyone, I am Mindless Autumn and today we are talking about setting up a weekly log. The original bullet journal design actually went from a monthly log to a daily log and doesn't have anything set up weekly. But quite a few people when they saw this giant list of tasks to get done in the month decided that it was easier if you break it down into weekly tasks and then daily tasks if need be. And these are just a few of the ways that I have tried. Hopefully it will give you some ideas so you can determine if that's something that you would like to try as well. So this is broken up very much like the future log at the beginning, but instead of having a month in each section, you have a day in each section. So you just break it into thirds and put the day in each section and then break this last one in half for the weekend. This leaves you a lot of room to put any appointments and also plan out any tasks for the week rather than going back and forth every day to determine what you still need to do. The other way that you could do the same thing is instead of the horizontal, do the same thing vertically. For people that like making lists, sometimes this layout is a little bit easier to navigate. And same thing, break it up into three sections and then smaller sections for the weekend. Because you're the one who's drawing this out, if you have more to do on the weekends and less to do during the week or on certain days, then you could always make the weekends have more room and the other days less room. You just have to adjust where you draw your lines. Something I learned from another YouTuber, Plant Based Bride, is something she calls a rolling weekly. And it's very similar to this. However, it's two days per page. And Saturday and Sunday each get the same amount of room as every other day, which is really nice. And also, she folds this back and forth so that you can have another section for things that you might need to do every week, like take out the recycling or habits that you're tracking so that you don't have to have a giant monthly tracker. You could do it every day and put it in this little section here and just fold this back and forth so that you can always see this. I will link her channel down below so you can see how she does that much prettier than I do. This is a layout that I like to do when I have a lot going on in a week and it's very similar to one of the monthly logs that I showed in my previous video where I have the days going down the center and then each side is broken down into categories so that I can have multiple things going on on the same day and the fact that it's categorized makes it a little easier for me to see and wrap my hand around what I have going on at the time. You could also do one for each person in your family or one for each class. But because it's broken down into one week at a time, you can fit more information on there. And you can also break down some of those monthly tasks into the week to make sure that they actually get done and that they aren't forgotten on that other page at the beginning of the month. When I don't have a lot going on in a week, but I still want to have a weekly plan and be able to see what's going on more than one day at a time, I will do something more like this where I can write in my schedule and plug in any things that I need to make sure get done on certain days and even when I'm not really busy having something like this can make it more likely 
that I will remember to get things done. And since this is only on one page, then I would immediately start my daily log on the following page or whatever section is next. And next week I will show how the daily log works and give you a few different ideas on how to do that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up so I know you want to see more like this. And also hit that subscribe button down below to hopefully give you some more ideas for your bullet journal. Until then, I will see you next time. Bye!